What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another mail day. This is from Card Hobby. These cards have been sitting over there since December. They finally arrived. There was an additional delay because I wanted them to wait for posting after I already requested it because it was an additional card that I bought. So this is going to be those. It's four or five cards. I can't recall how many, but I wanted to get them back here in Australia because, you know, I've got a baby coming in a few weeks and, you know, I need to stop purchasing things. So basically having all my cards back home as opposed to sitting and ship my cards and also sitting in card hobby makes it, you know, me, makes me less inclined to buy more cards when I should be spending the money elsewhere. So, you know, I'll still be buying, obviously, but just not as excessively as I was in the past. Now, I will quickly do this. I've opened the box already just so you guys wouldn't see my address, but, you know, the cards themselves are there. I'll get to them in a sec. You can probably tell by my voice, I'm not feeling the best and I've got a bad cold at the moment. My daughter's been, you know, going to daycare this year. She started this year, so... um you know, she's been sick every other week and my wife and I are catching them. So that's why you saw no, you know, weekly news video today. You're going to see this on Monday, but I usually um, have a video on the Sunday. So I'm recording this on the Sunday. I was going to do a live stream as well. But I'm not feeling the best. So apologize in advance, but at least you guys get this mini bonus video. Um, we'll see if all the right cards are in here. Um, and hopefully none are missing, which, you know, one is missing, which is a bit annoying. Um, so the pack is empty. We'll get to that in a sec. So you've got um, my Bratislava Vanovich over here, which I think I've shown off on the channel when I purchased it. Um, this one here is pretty cool. Um, the Ramirez Gold from Flawless. And then this one, which is the filthiest of the lot, actually, that's a piece of the Premier League badge. So it's all, you know, Flawless Soccer here. There was meant to be a Buffon card that I'll put on screen now that looks like they forgot to ship. Um, which is a bit concerning, but you know, I'll talk to them to see if they can sort of fix it. All in all, I'm happy with these purchases. As you guys know, um, I've been saying this pretty regularly now. I am actively chasing gold cards from Flawless Soccer. It's the only year they released it, um, especially for Chelsea and Italian players, being that you know, Chelsea is my club and I am Italian. Um, but here's the top of the class. So it's a random ass slab. Um, I'll crack it out because I'm going to send it to CGC, but um, that patch is damn filthy. So apologies, it's coming out quite blurry. I'm not sure why. But the patch is a piece of the Premier League logo, the, the eagle of the old Premier League logo, which is pretty cool. Like what you sort of see in some of these gold patches is stuff like this, right? The same insert across two different players, right? So that is also pretty cool. That is a piece of the player's nameplate. So that is Bratislav Ivanovic. I've got a few of his gold cards now. Um, let me just take this out of the top loader. Let me out of the, the sleeve because it's dirty as shit. Much nicer. So now you can see the card in all its glory. Um, so again, same insert, but very different patches that you get in there. And sometimes what they do with with these gold cards is they'll put, you know, very basic looking relics in there. And the same relics that end up in, you know, other inserts for this card, which is just ridiculous. But I'm pretty happy with this one. So this one has some damage there. You can sort of see the foiling coming off the dash. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with, with this one because, again, it's a piece of his nameplate, which is pretty rare. I got it for a fairly cheap price. This one is four of 10. Um, the Ramirez over here, again, chasing a lot of gold cards. I feel Chelsea players where I can. This is obviously the base, you know, the base card from the set. Uh, give me one sec, guys. We're getting there. Very nice looking gold card. And then um, probably the best one of the lot, actually, just for the patch or equal with this one, is the other Bratislav Ivanovic that I picked up because um, it has a piece of the Chelsea badge in there, which is... Again, very rare. Like I was just sort of saying and rambling for these cards. Like normally you see some very basic patches go into these gold cards because you know Panini sort of shit the bed when they were making this set. They put some really good relics in some, you know, silvers and rubies. But then for the golds, they did some really dumb stuff. Now, um, they did some really cool stuff when it came to the greens being the out of fives. Um, but, you know, when you see golds like this, it's too hard to pass up in my opinion. So again, my camera's not picking it up too well. That is a piece of, of the Chelsea, you know, relic. I've got you now three cards that have those in there. Two of them have this style relic. The Ramirez that I have is a stitched patch, which is pretty cool. But what Premier League teams started to do um, in later years was start using, you know, screen printed, you know, relics and stuff, which is dumb. The same thing when it comes to, you know, the the nameplates as well. And you know, it's part of the reason why I chase the stitch stuff and stitch relics where I can because. You know, it's so rare and unique, but again, even this is rare and unique. Now, I am going on a ramble. The thing I want to quickly say is I've seen other iterations of this gold card that have both relics that look like that plain one, which is really dumb and really annoying because, like I said a few times now, that's basically the same relic they put in the silvers, the base version of this insert, which is 
you know, so stupid to me. And I've seen some that look a lot worse as well. Now, this card is damaged. You can sort of see over there, or maybe it's hard to see. But there's like an indent there for the patch window. I can sort of see. You can sort of, you can sort of see the dimple there where the patch window goes. I don't really care because, again, I buy this on my PC. And, you know, the momentous insert, which is what this one is, um, just looks great in hand, especially in gold. And the fact that you've got a piece of the... You know, the, the emblem there is too good to pass up. Now, I'm pretty happy with this, other than the one card that is missing, so I'm going to have to contact them. But, you know, I just want to quickly bring that to you guys. Apologies. If I'm rambling, I am pretty sick, so hopefully my voice was not too annoying. But let me know which of the four you thought was the best. And what I should also say is, if you want to see me try and crack this out on camera, let me know, because this is some random ass grading company that I've never heard of before. The grade was irrelevant to me. I probably overpaid for this, but... You know, it's not every day you see a, a patch like that, especially for soccer. The rest of them look dog crap, so it is what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Well, actually, before I go, before I go, I, I want to quickly say Omar Retro Hoops Collectibles put out a video talking about myself and AIH Sports when it came to the whole Kurtz card care situation. I think you guys should check it out because I think he's missing the point. I'm a little bit disappointed with the position he's taking. Now, he's somebody that's given me plenty of shout outs in the past. He was one of the first bigger channels to do that for me. Um, I'm going to have a conversation with him because I think he's off base with a lot of the things that he's talking about because he's trying to downplay the whole situation. And I don't think that's intentional, but you know, my position has always been, well, you're adding things to the card. What's that going to do long-term, right? And I don't want to keep repeating myself now because you guys have seen that plenty of times. What he's sort of saying is, well, you're cleaning the card. You're not adding any, any, anything to it. But, you know, as we do know, they use wax on these things and wax stays on things. You know, when you're looking at putting wax on your car, you, it goes on there for a period of time to protect the paint from the elements, right? The wax basically going on these cards, yes, it might be wiped off afterwards, but there's gonna be a residue there, right? That's the whole purpose of using wax on things in the first place, especially when it comes to trying to fill scratches or even some people that use abrasive waxes to try and get rid of some of the surface layer as an example. Now, some of that stuff isn't as successful as some of the others, but that's where my whole you know, talking point is. He's basically saying, well, you're wiping it down, you're taking something off the card, PSA basically said only if you're adding to the card, but you're adding to it and then you're wiping it off. My point is, yeah, you might add to it, you might wipe it off, but how much of that residue is still on there and then how much of that residue is actually going to impact these cards long term and sort of irrespective of what people think, PSA haven't signed off on using this sort of stuff, right? So I'm going to come back, check out Omar's video. I'm probably going to do a response. I'm probably going to try and reach out to him, but I just want to hear what you guys have to think first. Let me know what you thought of his video. If you did in fact see it, if you haven't seen it, please do check it out. Be fair and balanced as always. If you don't agree with him, just be honest in the in, in in the comments like you are with me. Don't be rude or anything like that, but it's sort of, it is what it is. I thought he was really off base with what he talked about. But again, that's just my opinion. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.